Hello everyone, it's Amy, and I'm just back to show you something else I did this week. So, um, I showed earlier the little tiny, um, Inchy and Twinchy and ATC stamps that you could make that Nina Rabina showed us how to do. And when she did her, she did them with some shaped, um, foam stamps. So, um, I had to go to town this week, and so when I went to town, I got some of those shaped foam stamps. And I wound up making all of these. I got some that were like flowers and butterflies. And then I got some that was like underwater. And um, so these are the stamps that I made. And then I've got like the dolphins in a circle and a butterfly and a dragonfly. And the fish with the coral. The little dots came out of the center of the flowers and I didn't want to waste them. So I made a dot one. Got the tulip and the little stars, the big flower, the big stars. The dolphins like a yin yang and then the coral the butterfly and a one with a little swirl in it so i made those and they wound up stamping like this so they stamped out really well i was happy with how those turned out then i kind of got stuck on the couch at the end of the week or middle of the week i guess it was and um because i put my back out so i have a little tiny die cutting machine and I had these small die cuts, and so I used those to do the numbers. And then also it die cut the heart and the flower and the little button. And the one with the three here, this was an edge punch. And so I just cut it into three pieces so I could fit it all on there. So even if they're too big, you can cut them down if you find a part of your die cut that you like. You can cut it down and still put it on these small ones. And then just a solid circle. And then those ones, let me get those out of the way, wound up punching out or stamping out like this. So they worked really well too. And these also will work really great in mixed media. So I love how those turned out. And then also I did the whole alphabets. So they don't quite all fit in the sh shot here, but they did all fit on my paper. So this is how I did with the alphabets. Now the one thing when I did the C, when I looked at it, it was the right way. So then I stamped it and it was backwards. So I did go in on all of them and put a little mark at what's the bottom. Because when I was, before I stamped it, I was holding it this way. And then I flipped it over and stamped it and wound up with the backwards C. So you have to make sure that, you know, you've got the bottom at the bottom. And so I did that on all of them, even though some of them you can tell what's top and bottom. But if one has it, they all have to have it. But those stamped out really well, too. And then there was a little, couple little punctuations that I put on there also. And um, so that was one of the things that I've been doing this week. And I'm just having so much fun making these. And I got these little wood tiles at our recycle store. So I have a whole bunch of them. So I think I'm even going to make more. And then I been trying to think how am I going to store them because the one thing about the fun foam is if it gets a divot in it that divot will stay so if you were to throw them all in a box and they were to push on each other um, it's going to make marks on your stamps and you don't want to do that so you do want to keep them somewhere where they're going to be flat and nothing is going to put marks on the top of them so I was looking I had got these chocolates when I went to town and um they come in this little box, which is just like about the perfect same size as one of these pieces of paper. And so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to reinforce this, even though it's small. Um, you know, I wanted something that I could put, I'm going to put a shelf in the middle. So there will be a bottom layer and a middle layer. Um, well, there'll be two layers of these stamps in here. And I have two of these boxes because I got them on, they were 90% off. So they were 79 cents. So I couldn't pass them up. So I took the cookies out of the boxes because I wanted the boxes. And I'm going to try and make a storage for my stamps with these. And if I do, I'll come back and I'll show you when I get it finished if it works out. So, but this, so this is what I was doing just to show you some other different things that you can make with these little wood stamps. And I just think that they're really cool. Thanks again, Nina. That's Nina Rabina. She originally showed how to do them. And, um... So they're just really a blast. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope that you all have an outstanding day. Bye-bye.